All right. Hello, everyone. Happy Supermoon in Scorpio. This is the 12 Zodiac sign reading. So I'm going to get this going for you guys um, and share with you guys what I have um, worked on for you so that you guys are receiving the best message I feel from, from looking at your, the astrology for right now. I'm going to pause and make sure that I have all the 12 signs. Okay, I felt I, I did, but when you start recording, it's kind of like, do I have it? But yes, I do. Okay, so we're in Taurus season. So happy birthday to all the Taurus out there. Um, and it is a Scorpio full moon, and it's a super moon, so the moon is closest to the Earth. So I've already, you know, uploaded two videos before I'll upload this one. So you guys will be good to watch those videos because it will give you the information that you do need. Okay? But if you watch this video by itself, fine. Okay? So... All right, so for Leah, Libra, let's start off with um, Libra, because that's how I have it here. Okay, Libra, you're, you're like the lucky sign. You have the fortune um, in the seventh house. So this is like a really good um, time for you. The seventh house is like partnerships and marriage. So this will be really good for your marriage, right? Um and or your relationship or your partners okay and you're going to be very aware of um you know others and others needs because your need is met already okay you are doing well so this should be a good full moon typically for libras okay and then you can like i always say you can look over to your opposite sign which is um, Aries, okay? I'm not going to say the opposite sign for everyone, but this is something you will know for yourself and, and see what's going on in Aries. I'm looking at the chart right now, and I'll put the chart up in this video as well. So, you know, you can tap into the planets if it's useful in your opposite sign's house or strictly focus on the prominent um, uh, full moon right now, which is Scorpio energy, okay? A water sign and then see what you can learn from that with Scorpio in the eighth house you can also tap into the Sun working on yourself your own personal healing the whole, your own personal healing at, at home and how you communicate there and how you fight there right how you are you there you know do you you know do you feel a sense of freedom at home you know um, all the meanings of Uranus also you can tap into um, your, uh, Neptune energy and um, the, the, the 12 house issues, okay, of um, your spiritual life, okay. Um, the first house issues is the, 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 the um, self awareness, the I am, the self, okay. So everyone can benefit from that, not just Libra, okay. So Libra, it's all about luck and it's all about things working out. Whenever you have the fortune, it's kind of like you have a plan for your life. If you ever have a fortune in your sign, it's like things are in a really good flow and you want to keep tapping into that energy. You don't want to slack off, right? Because the astrology is showing you like a blueprint of what you can expect in your life, right? And that's why it's so good to look at your sign and the sign that you could potentially be if you were looking at the 13th zodiac. So I'm mentioning that a lot because I'm going to do a video on that next, okay? So I might not do it today, but I'll, I'll get it done. <laughs> Scorpio, Scorpio, what is it for you? It's the super moon Scorpio. This is your time to bless items that you have to really get into your energy work, your ritual work, your prayer, your meditation, whatever it is. Prosperity is money is it money is an issue and basic survival is an issue for everybody right now. So Scorpio, this is like um, it's in your house too. So this is a great time for you to, you know, um Get yourself ready. Do what you need to do and make sure Thursday isn't a busy, busy day for you, okay? Whenever the full moon's coming up, try to get stuff done, but don't rush around. But just try to make sure that you are prepared as best as you can to make it a relaxing day, okay? You don't feel like you have to rush and try not to do anything the day before. Like, try to set up your appointments, you know, it's going to be in the 7th. So, you know, try to make it the day before that day, you know, the 5th that you do things, you know? And, um, yeah. 
So this should be a really festive um, uh, a full moon week as well. Okay, we have Cinco de Mayo. <laughs> you know, so we can all make this uh, on the fifth of, of May. We can all make this fun. You know, we can all you know do something that's fun. I, th I think with everything going on, people want to be in a celebratory um, um, phase right now. So I think we can all be realistic, but also still. Um, celebrate. And Scorpio, you're strong. So this is a great time for you to work on your self-care. Whenever the moon is in, whenever the moon is in your zodiac sign or you're in your birth season, right now we're in Taurus season. So Taurus should be self-care, healing, and, and building up your spiritual and physical energy and your health. And that's the same thing for Scorpio because we're under the super full moon. Okay. So you will be um, experiencing, hopefully, prosperity work will be good because you're in your house of other people's money. So receiving money out of nowhere that you didn't expect it. Receive the abundance out of nowhere. This is one of the coolest zodiac signs because it's like if you really tap into that, that Scorpio frequency, you can really um, manifest your prosperity. Okay. And Virgo is in the sixth house. So it's focused on issues that's affecting your daily life right now, Virgo. Okay. So um, you'll be dealing with your um, self-improvement, your health. Um, and for those around you, if you're in the service industry, how can you serve other people? Um, this is your work. So use your work, no matter what work you do, to be an earth angel. Okay. And, and if you study Virgo, Virgo has wings in the old... Um, uh, constellation and so on. So it's the mother, but it's also um, uh, the wings, right? So being an earth angel, tapping into that energy, um, you know, Virgo birth sign or strong Virgo in your house, right? So when you're watching these astrology, don't get stuck to just your zodiac sign. That's why I'm going to be talking more about the 13th zodiac and the sign that you could potentially be, right? And also the sign that's closest to to you because you vibe on that too as well as your rising sign. So really think out of the box. Don't just be like this with your astrology, okay? There's many houses, there's many doors, there's many windows. So you really have to, um, you know, be versatile and be open and willing to learn, right? So Leo, okay, um, experiencing or noticing issues that affect um your whole entire year and your home, such as your family or your parents. So really, if there are people that you care about, spend time with them, um, connect to them, talk to them. You know, um, you know, it's not something so negative, but life is short. So we want to really connect to people that mean, um, excuse me. So that was cancer. <laughs> so for Leo, you want to experience and notice issues in your house. And maybe that could be for Leo as well. So it's this family romance, creativity. It is spending time with families, activities, having fun. Everything that Leo represents, put that magic into your family's home, okay? Into your home, into your family. Now, cancer in the fourth house, you want to focus on issues for this year. I, some cancers that I do know, they're really doing well for themselves, even if they feel like they're not. But make sure you're spending time with family and your home. Life is short, especially if you are still working. You're one of those jobs that you're still working right now. You know, your home. Also, your family history may come up um, um, around this, this full moon, good or bad. Okay? Um, and also, your own self-esteem. Make sure you take time to rest cancer. Okay? And make sure that you, you realize, focus on issues that are affecting your whole entire year so far. Focus on issues that is... Um, that will affect your home, like I said, your family, your parents, stuff like that. So really for planning out and even planning out your future year, which is so crazy right now with everything we're going on. It's like, how can I plan out my future year? But yes, you can. So you're still here. So um, what is important to you, right? And what is important to your family? So a lot of you guys are changing up what you're doing, but make sure that you're doing it um, that's still going to be benefiting you. That's not something that you feel like some of you will be will be perfectly fine. Others will be experiencing thoughts of like doing something drastic to move or to change up your life in a very big way. But just be, make sure that you're not going to regret it. So don't act on impulse. OK, Gemini. OK, um, Venus is in Gemini. So this is a great time for Gemini to really care about themselves, self-care, beauty, love, money, like just really care about yourself. Third house, you know, communicating, um, 
you know, communicating um, with yourself and really being honest with yourself. And if Scorpio is prominent in your sign, really working on yourself. Okay, and the need to be more social in many different groups is going to affect you, Gemini, but everyone else, because this this aspect is strong at the full moon, this Venus in Gemini. So, um, you know, make sure that you you are as social as you can be, because this is what you need to do, and there's no fear. Okay, just be yourself, be authentic. And if someone likes it, they like it. If they don't, oh well, right? So. And I, I did a separate reading on, on on the aspects before this video, so make sure you watch the aspects because that this is a powerful aspect. And if you are a Taurus um, ruled by Venus or Venus is an important um, uh, planet in your chart, you can tap into this. If you're a Gemini, this is one of the powerful aspects at this uh, full moon. Taurus. Taurus, of course, the sun is in Taurus, Mercury and Uranus is in Taurus, so communicating is going to be a big issue for, Tor for Taurus, it could be good, okay, and also Uranus is like re that rebel, right, so it's it's that strong energy, you have, um, you, the Uranus is in the first house of self, so it's a, it's a very powerful, I talked about it in the aspect, you know, people are thinking about themselves and what's best for them. We, we are in the birthday season. The sun is in Taurus, so that's the birthday season of Taurus. And Mercury is in the second house, so is in Taurus house. So, okay, this is, um, you know, home, but it could be a tense time in the home, being that we're so confined there. So we really have to give ourselves mental space and physical space, okay, Taurus, and everyone can vibe on that as well. Okay, so very important to know how to be in close quarters, but, you know, visualize, be somewhere else, or just, you know, go outside, you know, what, what, what you need to do to kind of just alleviate um, uh, any stresses that you may feel, okay, regarding home and, and in your social life, okay, in the world at large. Now, um, Aries <laughs> has Chiron and Lilith, okay, so this is... Um, a time to receive healing or to think about your health, okay? So it's either you're sharing healing with others or you're, you're, and you're also healing yourself because you can't help others if you can't help yourself. This is a time to think logically about your actions before you make a move. And also it's a time um, and a duration of um, any decisions that you make. So give time to the decisions that you make and really think about the, deci the, the decisions you're going to make before you make them and space things out in time, in real time, okay? Um, being aware of, of, um, of anything that, um, that would be a, a misunderstanding, right? Or being misunderstood or not um, appreciated. So Aries might be experiencing... Um, not being appreciated, the Lilith and energy could be maybe feeling not appreciated, but the mathematical timing and being logical is also that Lilith, right? So, you know, going back to that whole, you know, being logical about what you're doing and the timing of everything that you're doing and how long are you going to be doing it for, right? So you want to be logical in that. Maybe not feeling appreciated, but knowing that you are appreciated, knowing that you have talent, but it's just a rough time right now. So you are appreciated, okay? And then check in with your own emotions so that you're not really overthinking things because it can be stressful even though you're a very powerful sign. So allow your thoughts and anything negative to just, you know, not rule your personality and your experiences right now. Just know that things will get better. And when things start getting better, you know, be mindful of how you do things. Okay, so that it's not perceived in a negative way, but be creative and then and then things will work out. The more creative you are and everyone is happy, then the faster things work. People don't realize that we're in survival mode, but we can't just be selfish and think about ourselves. We have to just like think, okay, collectively and like, okay, yeah, the more energy, things will, will flow. Within the next six months, it'll be at, at the end of the of six months, not counting May, things will pick up a lot. Okay. All right. So um, Pisces, um, Pisces, um, Neptune and Pisces in the 12th house, it will affect the unconscious mind, right? So problems, um, fears or things from the past may come up, um, you know, focus on your strength, your mind, 
things that will strengthen your mind, body, and spirit, and will, of course, strengthen your soul, okay? And not try to focus on the bad things in life too much. Like, realize that it's there, but not being, um, you know, all fairy tale like but, but, but looking, feeling and looking at things and say, okay, this is negative, but th here's a positive. Because always when someone's losing, someone's winning, and it's not all good, right? But we want to focus on the positive and use your spirituality to uplift yourself and to lift uplift others in a very realistic way. Okay, Aquarius. Um, Mars Mars is in Aquarius, and this is going to be a great time to um, boost your confidence. Okay, for Aquarius, this is going to boost your confidence even more, and especially if you're an Aquarius that's been experiencing negative experiences with friends or in general, anything negative. This is a great time to boost your confidence and do things that's fun and be genuine. And and you guys are, are, are you, you guys are an air sign, so you're good with communicating and you have that charm. So really connect with that Venus in Gemini and your sister brother air sign. Okay, connect with that on the phone book. Um, may, um, so things, you know, look at things that are mentally challenging, like games and activities. That will be fun for you guys right now. And um, you're feeling more social, and you can do that through social media. You can do that, um, be more, um, um, you know, courageous in, in the things that you do in a fun way. Okay, Saturn in Aquarius is going to help you to just organize um, yourself more. Um, and also thinking more about um, your commitment to yourself and to your future and really thinking about your future seriously and in a different way. This is going to be really good for you work-wise and family-wise and, and make that balance, you know, use that Saturn energy to bring that balance. And um, some may even find that um, they, they're they more, you know, committed to improving um, not, not just their home, their community, and just building friendships and building networks right now. And then when things jump off, then then I think this is a great networking time and planning time for you guys. And then when things get back to the new normal, um, you guys will have a lot to offer. It's going to be great. Okay, very creative and, and prosperous like 2021 if you guys play it right. Okay. And um, okay, so Capricorn, Capricorn right now, Jupiter's in Capricorn is all about winning right now and, and the luck of Jupiter and the prosperity of Jupiter and the blessings, like receiving the blessings of Jupiter. So if you're a Capricorn that does meditating, this is great. This, this uh, full moon, you can really tap into that and um, tap into your luck, especially if you have um, Libra um, in, in a high, Libra has fortune. Um, right now. So if, you, if Libra is strong in your chart, then, you know, tap into the prosperity and the luck and really bless yourself on this full moon. Um, um, this this is a, a serious time for you to plan your steps forward, to really get get a, 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 a daily um, plan written out, um, really get yourself organized with what you're doing so that others will see that too, okay? And it will be very beneficial. Um, the Pluto in Capricorn is a time to get rid of anything that's not real, that's not authentic, that is toxic. Okay, so on the large front, everyone's going to see this, but if this is for all 12 signs. With this Pluto in Capricorn, it's going to be very strong. Um, um, where there's any kind of powerful um, combination um, going on, um, it's going to direct that energy and make that transformation. So Pluto in Capricorn is using that powerful combination with all of the aspects going on. And also the, the Pluto in Capricorn is going to use that power, that energy that they have to direct it and to transform it if it's not being used right. So we're going to notice that at, by the full moon, that, that something powerful is going to step in and make, make the correction that is needed, okay? Um, so this is, I mean, I could go on and on, but it's really, um, a time where Pluto is going to see what, what is hidden and, um, you know, and what has power and control and make sure that it's, it's, it's being used in the most balanced way. Okay. And Pluto is about things that is, that is hidden. Like we know that secrets and all of that stuff, but it's going to, be um, a place where where we're going to see 
what's really going on. And what we have to think about is, is what will this full moon reveal? It's going to reveal a lot. And with this Pluto in Capricorn, it's going to reveal a lot in, in, in structures, in, in any working structure. A lot of things will, will be highlighted, okay, that, that needs to be changed, okay? Okay, so Sagittarius um, in the ninth house and in the eighth house. So, so Sagittarius, you're going to be experiencing nice ninth house issues, okay? Um, what is that? that? That's your own sign. So that's anything that has to do with you, is travel, issues with travel, um, higher education, learning, and eighth house, Scorpio issues, other people's money, maybe wanting money, needing money. Or, or needing uh, a new way of, of you surviving, okay? Um, so it's really, uh, with the ninth house energy, is, is, is really expanding your life after after all of this chaos is over. And even right now, for some of you, is really changing up your life that will make it better for you. If your home doesn't feel peaceful, if your life doesn't feel like it's what, what it needed to be even before this chaos that we're going through right now, this is your other wake up call like okay i gotta make a positive and a better change with the eighth house issues it's, it's all of your money and your personal resources is it being used in the right way you know what are you responsible for that you should be still responsible for and what are the things that you really don't need right now and and you're holding on to it you would need to let go of that all right so that is the 12 zodiac sign reading i really wanted to get deeper into the pluto and capricorn but i didn't want to you know it's, it's, we, we can all, you guys can look that up, but um, make sure that you do you, do what works for you on this full moon, really tap into this this last and third super moon energy, and just like, you know, relax and just vibe under the moon, you know, just really enjoy it, right? So I hope that you guys um, enjoy this full moon. I hope that this aspect reading was helpful for you. I wanted to break down, um, instead of making an hour-long video, and throwing a lot into it, just break them down into um, different videos. All right, so thank you guys so much, and I hope that you guys enjoyed this reading. Click like if this was beneficial to you. It really does help the channel, and I'll see you guys next time. Peace.